All right, so we've got sapwood here. If I did the hook right here, so that means when it gets turned, I can actually do my normal hook. A good spot right about there. And what we're going to do, round this out a little bit. I actually want this hook right here. This is where I wanted it. Shidahari says, Maxime, say something. I think Spectre got you. It won't do it for emojis. It's all right, we're good. Actually, I like for this swoop to go with this swoop a little more, so I'm going to give it more of a curve. Well, we got our Spanish guitar rocking today, man. I think that makes the glorious sense. hook. The glorious hook. And that way, when you're pulling this ring out, you'll be able to see the sapwood right here. Because I always tell everybody to turn the bolt just a little bit so the yarn kind of comes in and angles out a little bit. That always seems like it works even a little better. Guys, we're going to go roll with this here. We can finish up the shaping, but we got the general vibe. Cassie Ramitra says, Hula, did you ever try the burning wires I sent you? I, I have. I'm curious how well they work. They work really good, Cassie. They have worked really well. Thank you again. I appreciate that. Cassie, I got to do a thing. Like, I'm going to do like a stream called like miniature mini turning. Uh, because I had one spot where I was going to try to use it on a bigger piece, and I found they were so, they were too thin. Uh, it created a little too much vibration, but I think it'd be fun to try to do like mini turning. Like we could do like a miniature pot or uh, mini, um, like a mini bowl or a little mini finial or something like that. We might try to do that. I, I definitely want to give okay, that a shot. Okay, good. I was worried they weren't all they were said to be. No, they're good for, it's just they're, they're not, they're not really good for b bigger pieces because they're as thin as they are, uh, you develop uh, vibration. And vibration is, you know, in turning, vibration is not good. Let me get some. Force. Might work on bud vases. They're kind of small. Maxine says cool. Hold on. Did Spectre fix it? Spectre fixed it, y'all. Spectre, you are a rock star, sir. I'm going to dance at your next. I'm going to dance a jig at your next wedding. Shidahari says Spectre did fix it. Spectre's Lyndon the man. Says, yes, he did. Looky there. Spectre's Please. the man. I see it. I'm dancing a jig at Spectre's next wedding. Shidahari says, who needs purple? We have Spectre. Spectre's just a rock Spectre star. Spectre yells, hold on. I fixed something. <laughs> hold on. Right. What is Raven going on? says, we need purple. The world, what is going on here? I, 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 did I do that? 
<laughs> when I just hear like Steve Urkel saying, did I, did I do that? Maxime says okay. Raven says lol. Sp I tell you what. I think you know what's so cool with all the different mods we have around here. I think Shadahari says Spectre Hula's head doubter actually fixed something. I tell you what, Spectre. I think we got so Cassie many. Ramitra yells at Spectre 326. Good job. He's Show a rock star. Easterners can do it. Raven says okay. Back to going through stuff. All right, Raven. Maxime says who? Yes. Spectre's my dude. That dude right there. I think we have different different mods have their own special, unique things. Spectre one hundred percent has his. Y'all y'all have no idea how much I appreciate Spectre and what he does, kind of in the background and actually in the stream. Um, the guy is just freaking good as gold, and uh, I love. I flat out, honest to God, love Spectre's sense of humor. I, I he, that boy literally. Spectre says I almost regret fixing it because Hula ran out of Guinness. D uh, well, I mean things happen. Don't don't beat me up too hard for it, Spectre. Things happen, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I can come my bride and pick it some more up. If they got any. That's a big issue. If they got any. So I did. I drilled a pilot hole in first for the Forstner bit. To actually kind of guide along that right there. It kind of keeps it kind of squared up a little bit. And I'm cutting it at an angle. A little bit of an angle. Jack says might have to drive to the Arkansas side of town to find some of them. I hope not. Brian says no sector 326 a good guy in the side. He is a, you know what? He is a straight up good dude. Straight up good day. Spectre says seriously, so, sir, thank you for the kind words. No, I mean it, I really do, dude. I honestly, God, love your, your comedic relief that you bring to the stream. Uh, in Discord, when I'm like stressing out and talking about this and that, you always got a funny way that always seriously just tickles the living shit out of me. And let's be honest, we all we need a lot more of that because sometimes we take things too serious. And Spectre has a funny way to uh, always kind of get my head back to where it needs to be and not stress over stuff that don't need to be stressed about. And that's, that's, Raven says, "BTWI, that is nice. How you are following the grain of the wood." I'm trying. I'm trying. I really am. Go. I shoot for that. And I'm. Thanks for noticing that, Raven. Spectre says, "I'm a pressure release valve." You are a pressure release valve, sir. All right, so this is the little trick that I picked up late in the ball game. That I used to cut the whole. Raven says that is why Grump smacks him so much. <laughs> Luck. All right, Raven. Let's make sure we get another shout out from Miss Raven. She'll Maxime be. Team says okay, okay, okay. By the way, guys, this is not a soup bowl. In case anybody wondered, this is definitely not a soup bowl. Spectre says, "Well, it actually worked." One smack and sent into me. <laughs> We well, don't say that too loud. Grunt may keep doing it. Well, uh, heck, if I do it, that's, that's successful. All right. Maxine says it is beautiful. Thank you, Cassie Maxine. Ramitra asks, wait, is this one getting nine holes for the nine hookers? No. Is the large hole the one to rule them all? No. No, this is getting a regular hook. I appreciate your your, your questions, Cassie. That's a, that's a big negative ghost rider. That is a giant negative ghost rider. I 
I'll tell you another little trick that I figured out is I used to like this and here's a little further over than I wanted to go. And I always try to ride just because I can always go back in. And like on this curve here, I actually make sure I say way wide. I made a mistake before I got trying to get right on that and that really almost, that almost cost me. Because I wind up getting my shape off and I didn't really care for it as much. I mean, it, it turned out great. It, it actually turned out great. Oh, but... dang. Well, I had it for at least a few seconds. LOL. All right. Graham says TTS no sound. Are you muted? I don't know how that happened. Thanks, Gramps, thank you. I have no idea how that happened. Maybe I was leaning up against something and it got turned off. Thank you, Graham. Spectre says he's concentrating. <laughs> yes. Deep thought. Thank you, Graham. Maxime says, okay, bae. Another little trick, if anybody else is doing this here, I found that it's not as cumbersome, it's not as handy, but I always put my hand around the back side. This stops you from gouging the inside of this bowl. Graham says no problem. You just suddenly went quiet. I don't know what's up with that. Man. I'll keep it on the battery. The battery like it was good. Quite. This angle is just a little bit. Turning my angle so I can kind of come in here this direction here. Still try to grab the back side of this dude. Spectre says him, we could do that Saturday Night Live skit type of gag, like Deep Thoughts with Texas Hula. <laughs> Deep Thoughts! Mitra says it was the Hula version of ASMR wood turning. Thoughts. trying to grab a rasp. I'm trying to wonder, do I bring you guys on the other side when I do this here? Because I know the angle I need to get at. I'm trying to remember if I bring you guys over here to see this part of it. I think I do. Let's get you guys moved over. Let's bring you guys over here. Come here, camera. Because we're going to be doing some work this direction. And we'll get you guys a better view so you can kind of see all the... Spectre yells at Cassie Ramitra facts. Just facts, ma'am. Just facts. I did get a... Uh, I did snag a new tripod yesterday. So I can have a phone going or a GoPro going. At the same time, I'm working on some of these pieces. I don't have it out today. I probably should have. 
Uh, so I'm trying to work on some YouTube videos and whatnot like that there. So I, if I can kill two birds with one stone. There you go. A little better view. See more what's going on. Now we got to get all this here prettied up. Let's get some rasp. Get raspy with it. Uh, this rat tail cleaner file. I don't use that when there's much. Let's grab this dude right there and let's grab this dude right here. Cassie Remitra says a bowl with teeth. Uh, right? Shark's tooth, Cassie. Shark's tooth. I need to. I may work on a design soon. Well, don't you just look sexy? Where are you going? Sweet. Guinness, I mean, Spectre is severely. Corinthia has a most hungry bowl. A most Keep hungry. Going. Hey, Corinthia, how you doing, girl? Spectre's not talking to me right this very moment because he found out I had no more Guinness. Super One didn't have any Guinness. Uh, Spectre, there's no Guinness in Super, Super One Day. We're screwed. I have just awoken, so it is a beautiful day. Uh, Majestic Handcraft. Thank you so much, Majestic. I appreciate that. Ma is it Majesty? Hey, if you Spectre think about says it. says it's a series of rivulets for different size strands of yarn. Uh, lining kugels or uh, summer, at summer ale for tomorrow. Like sitting in the back patio, this would be oh. really good. If, that summer shanty would be really good tomorrow on a hot day. Yeah. All right, babe. Love you. Majesty Handcrafts. Yeah, they were out, Spectre. So we're going to use this rasp here. Try to be kind of easy with it. Trent, y'all hope you're doing good, girl. You showed up just all the fun field action packed hand grinding, which we're gonna be doing some stuff with the Dremel. But I use this here to get the general shape. I always find it just works better. You kinda of gotta take it easy on this part right here. Because the hook's strong, but you don't want to go just completely beefing on it because that's what's holding that on. The last thing you wanna do is break that end off. There'd be no bueno. I don't have even the barest understanding of yarn work, so to me these are all problematic punch bowls. Right, <laughs> problematic punch bowls? Yes. There is that, sir. There is that. Problematic punch bowls. Let me get this one little corner here kind of knocked off. Punch. You what, babe? I'm talking about that. Okay. Problematic punch bowls. Ah. Says lol well, they would pack a punch if you used them as a weapon. You ain't kidding, Graham. Corinthia Kinner says these are wonderful for multiple reasons. The main is holding the skein in place as one works around a project. Be it knitting, crocheting, or even that of cloth work. Right. My coat's not feeling very good today. says that crochet 70 and hula has been downrange of one of those weapons he <laughs> I, I have indeed sir i have indeed graham says lol
probably come in with a Dremel to get that there cleaned up a little bit. I need to work on this angle down a little bit. says I do needle point tatting in turn, so imagine, and have not tried, that using four differing threads would prove of ease with this bowl as well. I bet it would, Trinthia. This one, you know, I, they automatically just call them yarn bowls, but I know folks use them for like knitting or all kinds of other things, you know? I mean, it's just, I think it's up to the uh, the end users or the uh, the owner's means and what, what suits them really well, you know? And that's what's kind of cool about it, at least I think it is, is... You could have different people using it for different sorts of stuff. Let me be really kind of careful there. I just love making things for people that's going to be making them. All right, cat Spectre. feeding time. Uh oh, cat feeding time. Let's go. I love making things for people that make things. I don't know why. I love making all sorts of things, but there's a special thing about making something that you know somebody's going to use to make something else. And I just find that very, very rewarding. All right, there's gonna be a part that some of y'all might not like. I gotta get the Dremel kind of fired up. See if we can. Bull wife says, I sent you and Mrs. Hoop an update in DM. Okay. All right, Miss Bull Rock, we'll definitely check it out, girl. Find me a small bowl. I know I got a small bowl right here. You know what, here's a good small bowl. Amazing. I can't find a bowl. Just look around, Hula. There's bowls everywhere. I know, right? Seriously angry. Not kind of angry. I'm talking seriously angry. We're just trying to open it up. Terinthia so Kinner says, laughs I do guess the oops can be considered in hula kiss. No, well, actually, we're going to take care of all. All this is going to be rounded, but that, I did go to oops right there, which that's all going to be rounded. That's no big deal. Now, way down the line, Terinthia, when I got this stuff just about where I wanted it at, oops hurt. I'm not going to lie. It's like, oh, not like this. But we're good so far. We're still in the roughing out phase right now. I guess you watch it, it's kind of like a doctor's like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, whoops. I 
have a doctor one time go, oh, hell, or something like that. I forgot what he said. But it, it kind of made me nervous. I'm like, dude, you know, you're just not cool for a doctor to say. He's like, I know, it's totally unprofessional, but dang, dude, you gotta see this. I'm like, oh, my God. Not nervous at all. Sorry, but I'm seriously sorry. If I need a mute, y'all let me know. I mean, we don't have very much longer to do this. But I'm trying to get this opened up. Welcome, welcome back, bud. Meow. You're back just in time, Factor, for the awesome sound of a dentist trip. Mucho better. Mucho, mucho better. Two Stepping asks, Howdy, bud. Hey. Until Saturday. Good so far, Two Stepping. How you doing, me amigo? Sturgis says, Sounds like my last dental appointment. I know. Spectre asks, Will there be Guinness? Well, uh, uh, hopefully, Miss Two Stepping says, Wind shaken. Wind shaken? How you wind shaking? Tell me, tell me about the wind shaking. Y'all got a lot of wind down there? Graham says at Terinthia Kino you will love it when he's finished with it. It will be so smooth you'll not be able to keep your hands off it. Spectre says I'd hate to think that the good lord above won't smite thee. <sighs> Two-stepping says we had a heck of a windstorm last night. Oh, did you? Okay. Katsuramitra yells hey two-step. Purple Daisy says okay, the Dremel was perfectly the wrong time to walk in. It was wow. it purple? I'm sorry. I knew, I was waiting for... Purple, I was really waiting for somebody like, oh, my ears. And I was like, well, you Two-stepping says, second. howdy at Cassie Ramitra. How you feeling, Purple? Oh, I forgot. You do have a headache today. You, I forgot. You got a headache. I'm sorry. I, I guess I should have. I should have just muted, I guess. I don't I don't know how to avoid that. I guess I should have muted it, I guess. Purple Daisy says, just took second round of drugs. Spectre yells hello at Purple Daisy 977. Let's get some good vibes from Miss Purple Daisy. She is not feeling well today, guys. She's got a headache. It's kicking her butt. <sighs> We're trying to get Terinthia the look. Kinner says at Crochet 70, I won one of the giveaway one, and was so impressed, I commissioned this one. So I'm inclined to completely believe such is true. Believe it or not, I put even more care into these here. <laughs> these I don't even play around with because I just know that this has got to be says, like. Hey, Purple Daisy, sorry you have a headache. Get better soon. These. Purple Daisy says, you know, it usually doesn't bother me. Don't sweat it, dude. The fault is on mine. Sturgis says, is there a Dremel to make me smooth and soft so they um, can't keep their hands off? Wait, uh, this is a PG stream. Season. Um. Well, I mean, miracles have happened, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure, Sergi, you could like maybe trip Kershaw over. Six says good evening from Germany to all here. Hey, Kershi, how you doing? Graham says lol. Miracles have happened. I mean, let's be honest. Miracles have happened in our modern era. Hopefully, Purple, we get this dude looking like something today, girl. I want to see finish on this bad boy. And that'll give Kershaw us about three weeks. Says now on PC. Now Back on from PC. my trip and my visitors are gone now. Okay. Well, welcome, bud. <sighs> Getting all the heavy roughing out first, and then we're going to move over to the 80 grit. With the Spectre yells, why oh why did I try to imagine a smooth and soft Sturgis? know where I was today. I know you mentioned it yesterday, and I, I'll be I'd be lying if I if I told you I remember exactly what you said because you were going on about test driving a new uh, new little scooter. Um, you were excited about it. I do remember that part there, but I, I'm I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly. It's hard to keep up with all that sometimes. But I knew you were getting a test drive, something new. Oh, 
All right. You know what time? I think what time it is now. I think it's time for us, me, to take a pee break and grab a snack. I think I'm going to do that. Because I feel a little on the nauseous side. And it's 12, so it's probably a good idea to grab a snack. Graham says, well, Hula, I have to go. Love you all. I'll come back looking better. All right, much love. I hope. Grams, there's no doubt. You'll, you, you're, you're always like a million dollars. Much love, Grams. Another shot of Miss Crochet 70, and I really got to thank you for that. Two stepping yells by Grams. Be good, guys. If you're not following Crochet 70, go show that girl some love. Love her to death. Literally. One of the sweetest souls you'll find here on Twitch. Give me one second, guys. Be right back. Actually, I can't believe. I, two hours. I just haven't go pee yet. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? Be right back. Spectre one second, says, guys. I figure that Purple Daisy is too ill to do the flush. <laughs> Be right back. Kershe06 says, yeah, was today in Augsburg and had testing drives with new 125 CCM motorcycles. Had tested three different and one of them I tested twice. Oh, now HES gone. Tarinthia Kinner says at Purple Daisy 977 I am sad to learn of the illness, may search pass quickly and the headache become in distant memory. Spectre says hopefully he'll catch up when he gets back. J06 says I drove the pocket bike crossfire 125 feet twice. It's a nice mail bike. Nice. Hey, Purple Spectacle, would not y'all cash in a uh, take five? If you don't mind. So that way it's, it's used up, because I guarantee we'll sit here and we'll, we'll munch. Hey, thank you, two-stepping. I appreciate it, bud. I just know as soon as we, if I didn't, we didn't do it right now, some maybe and they just give me it's all right time to get back to work and they'll hit it right then and there i guarantee you it's almost like i know these folks or something two-stepping says i have the extra point thank you two-stepping i appreciate you bud let's make sure we get a shout out my boy two-stepping as well big guy c says i would never do that big yeah <laughs> big, no, actually you wouldn't big guy c but you know damn good and well you know damn good and well how are you doing big guy c i'm grabbing a quick snack man sort of Two-stepping says, oh, thank you, bud. Feel a little on the Especially nauseous yes, side. thanks, too. Oh, yeah, we're going to grab us a bite guy to says, I agree. Purple would do that. But Purple wouldn't do it. Ah, okay. Two-stepping says, oh, wow, Thai guys. Let's take a look here. I want to see if we had anything kind of going on. See, what while we're here, let's look at... Um, Let's do this one right here. Wrong button, Hula. Why does it never go back to where I want it at? It just like decides, hey, I'm gonna go here. Let's find, where is that display capture? Properties. Windows, display three, I think it's display three. Nope, that's not it. Display four. 
Oh, that's not it. This blade too. You know, we're gonna eventually hit it. There we go, guys. Cache 06. Yeah, was today in Augsburg and had testing drives with new 125 ccm motorcycles. Had tested three different and one of them I tested twice. Nice. Cache 06 says and when I sitting on it, it was good like to sit on there like my scooter. No pain or so in my arms or in my back. Had pros with my back. Oh. Only the bench is hard. Purple Daisy says who the heck tightened these bolts on this bed frame. Oh wait, it was me. Damn it Hercules, calm down with the Allen wrench. Are you taking down a bed or something, Purple? You taking down a bed, girl? So this is our uh, crochet challenge page, guys. If you're not getting into this here or yeah. not. Okay, cool. Are you sorry? I got you. Getting everything prepared for next week, huh? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. But here's some of the information, guys. If you're interested in getting to our um, Creators Challenge in June, we have a section yeah. in Discord called the, uh, the uh, June Challenge. We're doing crochet, guys. Graham's going to be a part of it. And we got the chit-chat here in Discord Swapping as well. from a queen to a king. Ah. Well, that's very important. Very, very, very important. I'm glad about you. I'm starting to death. Mm-mm-mm. So we got anything in our picks. Terinthia Kinner asks that if anyone can join the challenge. Yeah, Terinthia, anybody. The whole idea is something to get everybody coming together and doing it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of us not even knowing nothing about crocheting, and we're getting involved as well. The idea is just something fun for us all to do together and challenge each other. There's that storm that came in on Miss Rigger. Ugh. And then we'll take a look at pets. Grump Grandpa is rocky. I love looking at a pets page. Raven's kitty. I thought it was kind of cool. Standing leather. That's her and her horses. Two stepping says pets are so much fun. They are. Two stepping. They are. Crackheads taking a nap. You like how. They don't get along sometimes, but yet Paisa will crawl up and put her arm on Rebel. Kershe 06 says Hula, PN on DC. Two stepping says I see leopard print. Yep. Kershe, you know I'm live, so did you send me something that's okay to pull up live? Were you trying to get crazy with this scene? Right. Did you know I'm local? local. I want to make sure it's safe for uh, me to pull it up because uh, you know how it is. I am live, and if somebody sends something really bad to me and I open it up right here, that can get me in trouble. So I got to have it. 06 says it's okay. So I say it here, you can show it. You can show it? Okay. Bricks and motors. Oh, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Looks more motorcycles. That is a tiny, itty bitty little bike, dude. Except all cookies. Good God Almighty, that thing is tiny, man. Two stepping says, "Well, let me go find something to send to you." Hula. Don't do it, two stepping. Seriously, because this what always happens. And somebody's gonna send me something really kind of fucked up. Don't get really pissed off. I'm, t I'm telling you, I, 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 I can, I know it's exactly what's gonna happen, and I know I would get irritated. That's cool. I mean, they're, they're like little all-terrain. Kershe 06 says, yeah, I say it. It's a small pocket bike hula. Small pocket bike. Cool. It'd be fun if like a little round town or something like that. Ne definitely not something you want to get on the big road with. 12 inches wheels. Did it come with a skateboard? Spectre says not surprised they called it a mini bike on the web page. Is that what it called before? What does it say mini bike set?
got to go with black. Black don't look bad. I'm kind of like General Ford or Henry Ford when it comes to motorcycles. Cash A06 says it's a pocket bike like the Honda Monkey. Like the Honda Monkey? I'm not sure I know what Honda Monkey In red, is. it's better for me. But, I mean, this. let's be honest, Hershey. If we want to be like straight up like gangster biker stuff, you got to go black. I'm just saying. Elderly good says show love 100. Thank you, elderly. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Big shout out to Elderly Goods. All right. I'm, I'm scared to click on anything. Every time I like, do this here, I'm always like, oh, totally don't click on something. Cash AO6 yells, don't know what the monkey is. Shame on you, Hula. Kershey, I, I, I ride full grown big bikes. Elderly Goods says much love to Yahula. Thank you, Elderly. Yeah, Kershey, I don't, I don't, I don't ride that little kid bikes. I mean, I'm not like kid bikes. We're just like, I ride the full grown big boys. So I just never really. Alaska Wood Turner says Frank is at Alaska, what up, dude? How you doing, man? Hey, Alaska, I put a hole in a perfectly good bowl. <laughs> I put a hole. P.S. This is not good for uh, soup. I would not put soup in that. Kersh 6 says, but it is funny when Hula rides a pocket bike. Alaska Wood Turner says just scored some new birch. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, man. I, I really love turning birch, Alaska. I really do love it. It is, it turns so nicely. My, my few experience, I've only had a couple experience with birch, but I really enjoy turning it. I do that all the time. Funnels forever. Funnels forever. Yeah, this is like a not good, I mean, the bottom half is all right. You can hold some soup in that right there. Getting a quick bite to eat, guys. I was feeling a little on the nauseous side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What did you got planned for, Alaska? You got any game plans? All right, we'll be right working. I have a guys. blank from Green Valley that is drying. Yarn bowl to come. Good. Heck yeah, man. I can't wait to see what you do with it, bud. I really can't wait to see what you do with it. What size did you get? Hmm. You know what, Spectre? Let me do this number right here. Let me put it on Instagram, and I'm gonna get, we're going to put a link to. Um, Not now. Alaska's. Heart inlays for my sister. Oh, nice. Terinthia Kinner asks Hula, odd question. Mm? Is inlaying possible on the bowl? <sighs> mm. Um. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Retrostatic? How are you doing? Um. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt, Terinthia. I'm not even going to lie. What, what, what do you have in mind? Because we're, we are way far into it. Welcome back, Matt. Ah, then worry not. This is Alaska Wood Turner's uh, Instagram, guys. This is what, oh, golly, it's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if that works. I've only done a couple times Terinthia, and it kicks my butt. I'm not even going to lie. This is some Alaska Wood Turner stuff. I love his bow ties. And the checks. Flat out love. And that, dude, that's like so freaking epic, man. Grump Grandpa asks, what's all the ruckus? Mmm. Grabbing a snack, Grump. Pepper meal. Another pretty, I like the grain on that right there. So, so pretty. Pretty stuff. Y'all go definitely go check out my boy, uh, Alaska Wood Turner. Grump, what you know good, dude? I'm work. Hey, Grump, we got a bowl with a hole in it again, damn it. Dag burn another hole in the bowl. Spectre runs and hides. Yeah, 
Trinity, I wish I knew. Uh, I could have so. We could have done something different, Trinity. I feel horrible. But I, I think we actually are a little late in the ball game to start adding inlays, and because you're talking about, that's a, <laughs> especially this far into it. Let me get a toothpick real quick, guys. Purple Daisy slides at Grump Grandpa a tumbler of bourbon and bag of Werther's on her way out the door. Grump Grandpa says just got back from the Morel Festival. Tired, so at Spectre 326 is lucky at the moment. He's safe. You're safe, Spectre. You are safe, sir. All right, let's get back to work. We got work to do, yo. Break time's over. Break time's over. See if you can't. We're gonna go ahead and grab some 80 grit. We're gonna grab our handy dandy duct tape. We're gonna do the duct tape on the. Terinthia Kinner says it is perfectly fine. I simply had an idea of around the bottom edge and have no issues whatsoever with the work for which is being done. Ah, uh, okay. In point of fact, I am most ecstatic. Sweet. Spectre Trinity. size with relief. Size with relief. The dirty burger. Thank you Purple for that follow. Daisy says I'm gonna wander out so y'all don't hear me cussing past me for talking the bleep out of these bolts. Okay, perfect. Grump Grandpa asks where's the hole? Where's the hole? There's a big hole right there in the middle of it, sir. Did my... I decided to quit working again. Why does it not pop up? Um, let's click this button right here. Terinthia Kinner says best of luck at Purple Daisy 977. See, it showed up that time there. Why did it not show up in chat? Dirty, I appreciate that. Yes, Grump. It's got a hole in it, sir. It's got a hole in it. Let's go and find us some duct tape because we're going to duck it. And if you can't duck it, never mind. You know the rest of the story. So, it's anything cool at the festival, Grump? Shidahari says I don't think Mrs. Hoop would think that hole is big enough. You don't reckon? All right, so I'm putting duct tape on the back of a sheet of sandpaper. And that actually helps hold the sandpaper together while we use it to, to go around curves and stuff. Find my skeezers. Skeezers, skeezers. Grump Grandpa says, oh yeah. Got a very cute bird feeder and some other knickknacks. And oh. the food tent was amazing. Oh, right on, dude. What, what'd you get to eat? We're cutting some slivers here. Two stepping says I knew Hula was a Sith using the dark side of the force. Yes, 100%. I'm totally using the dark side Grump of the force. Grump Grandpa says Morel everything. Morel everything. Hold on, isn't that a brand? Like, uh, kind of like Hormel? What is Morel? I feel like it's a brand. It's kind of like Campbell's or something like that. Is that, is, is that right? Dishes, side dishes, etc. Uh, okay. Mushrooms. Oh, real mushrooms. I got you. Okay, so it's like a, it's kind of like a watermelon fest. I, I guess I don't know the difference between a morel mushroom. Maybe it's. I don't hate you for that. Morel mushroom.
Exactly. Morel mushrooms are very expensive. Except up here where they grow wild. Oh, okay. I have to look into that. I, I have to look into that because I, I don't never knew. I don't. And then, then again, I, I don't know the different kinds of mushrooms. I just snag mushrooms. I know the poblano. It's a thing. Was it poblano? No, not poblano. What's the, the big mushroom that folks make like burgers out of it? They use it as a bun or something. Poblano? No. As soon as somebody says it, I'm gonna feel like a complete total idiot. I'm like, yeah, I knew that. Portobello. Portobello. There you go. Yes, I'm an idiot. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a fact, sir. I am completely an idiot. I knew that. Why does my brain just shut down on stuff like that sometimes? I guess I'm just focusing on this here, and my brain's having a hard time focusing on two different things at the same time. I know that. I knew the portobello mushrooms. Golly. Terinthia Kinner says priorities. Yeah, right? Grandpa says morels aren't as pricey as truffles, but they're up there. You know, I'm, I'm one of those weird folks. It took me a long time in my life to realize that truffles was actually like a, a mushroom, because I always thought it was some kind of candy. When I always heard truffles, I always thought it was like, well, it's, you know, kind of like a like a candy or something. I was really, I felt really silly when I found out that it's actually a mushroom, and which I like mushrooms, but I was like, what did you expect that? This thing looking pretty. Iceman West asks, is this part of the bowl for dripping with a thumb? Yes. Grump Grandpa says, this is Grump and I are looking into growing black truffle and shiitakes. Okay, Terencia cool. Terencia Kinner says hardly anything like mushrooms within my household. And peppers Thus and I milk gain all of the wondrous yeah, flavors for mine self. Hell yeah, dirty. Hell yeah, dirty. Hardly uh, my mushrooms. Also, thus I gain all of them. Elderly I Good says Hula left you a rather odd question in Discord. Okay, but can I... please give it some thought before answering, please. Okay. Will do. Will do, sir. Terinthia Kinner says, granted, they have no idea that I use their oil in mine foods, and they cannot figure out why it is so good. I know, right? Nah. I know, right, Terinthia? I'm the same way. I love shrooms. I love them. I love them. I love them. Miss Hoop, she's not a big fan of them. Uh, neither is Duck. Uh, but Miss Hoop will eat it because she just wants, she just doesn't, don't go, she doesn't go crazy over them like I do. Duck will pick them all out. Uh, but I, I put shrooms in all kinds of stuff because I just like it. I eat them raw, cooking things. Don't matter to me. I like them any which way but loose. Any which way but loose. I have never, I've never done the portobello, portobellos on the uh, the grill though. I've always wanted to try that. Never gotten around to doing that yet. Val Farah says, is this the all hula all weekend special? I don't know. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. What's up, Val? How you doing, bud? We were talking about Grump Grandpa went to a mushroom festival. And he was telling us about uh, all the, the stuff he was eating there. Which sounds quite epic to me personally. I'm like, heck yeah. What you got going on today, Val? Grum Grandpa says when you guys come up, I'll make some sauteed morel for you guys with the elk or venison steak. That'll work. Val Farah asks, has he come down to earth yet? Spectre says magic shrooms. Magic shrooms. Shonda Harley asks, is this the real-time version of the hook demo? Uh, it is. A 100% real-time version of the hook demo. Real-time. This is Grumpy all the... Grumpy yells at Grump Grandpa, oh my, my mouth is watering. Two stepping says at Grump Grandpa, I want some two, sir. Lol. Yeah, this is the not very exciting, long, tedious 
part about making yarn bowls. Nick, they're much faster than they used to. Used to, it used to take me half a day to get this done. We have definitely shortened the time on it, but it's still quite time consuming. Well, it's part of it, I guess. Part of it. Grump Grandpa says make the trip to the grade backwards and we'll hook y'all up. Two Stepping says it is good to see it done though, so we see the whole picture. Yeah. Cal Farah says not much about the hot some hot pockets and sharp cheese for lunch. Let's go. I just had a, a, a bougie, uh, bougie uh, lunchable. That's what I had. Especially when it starts getting hot. I don't like eating heavy. Well, like live in the stream or anything like that. Especially when I'm already tired. and I'm like, I'm just going to do a bougie. Bougie Lunchable, good little snack. I like Lunchables. Have you, have you, have you got the ones Val from? Uh, is like Hillshire Farms. Dude, I don't know the. I really like those. Dude, I kind of call shenanigans. Duck got some, and then I come home for lunch one day. I saw me. I was like, you know what? I'm not hungry, but I'm gonna try this right here. Turns out I actually really liked it, dude. I thought it was pretty darn good. I like. Well, I never. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that. If I can get in there. Have not seen those, but had some of the cheaper ones with Nestle Crunch, Pars, and MMMMMM. MMMMMM. Grandpa says, give me the Uncrustables. Uncrustables. Well, I just go in there and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when I want that. Terinthia Kinner asks, who left over time? With use, does the bowl need to be refinished or will it hold as is without the need in the future? I'll tell you what, Terinthia, on my yarn bowls, Really, 100%. The only thing I recommend doing is uh, Pledge. Pledge is literally is a basically a regular old furniture polish, but Pledge puts really good waxes in their stuff, and then you'll be just fine using Pledge, Strength you. And because I literally finished it out with a wax, a buff, a wax, and a buff by hand. Spectre asks, wasn't that a good movie? The Uncrustables. The Uncrustables. Oh my God, I remember. The Untouchables. The untouchables. Kinner says, ah, many thanks. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I found that, you know, I know some people kind of call shenanigans on it. I'm like, wait. The piece is finished out. It's, it's, it's sealed up really good. And Pledge is actually have really good. Another, hey, guess if folks didn't know this. Uh, in the biker world, bikers will literally spray their windshields with Pledge. And they use Pledge, not the cheap crap. Wipe it off. When you hit the bugs on it, it actually the bugs will wipe right Grump off because Grandpa it says starts warming up the pimp hand even though he's tired. Val Ferrer says sends it Spectre 326 to the corner. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, Spectre bailed us out a little while ago. He was able to get something Spectre fixed. Spectre says just like a woodworker, brings a gouge to a gunfight. Yes, exactly. Spectre says I could go for some brie with paste picante with meats on a fresh tortilla all rolled up right now. I Hell. could. Hey, that does sound good. Two seven, I'm right with you right there, bud. That sounds really good. Round it up the way I want it. Right in here, I need to work on that a little more. I am not happy with that spot right there. See if I can't get in here and get this kind of cleaned up. It'll be easy not to hit that. There you go. You're trying to get cleaned up on me. Grand hey. Grandpa says, How can you tell a happy biker? Bugs in the team. Right? Yeah, Pledge is actually really good stuff. Just drop my toothpick. Terinthia Kinner says repost for the dirty burger. My old man did that on all of his bikes. Now I know why. Yep. Alaska Woodturner says I've been using Mahoney's oil. 
IT makes a nice finish with a little way buffed in. Hey, you know what? Sarah well, says, look at Hula throwing down some sick grass. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Alaska, I use all my food grade finishes is all 100% Mahoney's. When I go to my yarn bowls, I want something a little more durable that actually holds a little longer. With Mahoney's, it's just a food grade finish. I don't see it. it. To me, it doesn't hold on. It needs to be more redone regularly, you know? And I don't see that issue like with Danish. So on my yarn bowls, I always go with like a Danish oil. And I've seen some of those guys do like the polyurethane, but you can see streaks in it. And I'm like, oh, God, no, man. No, not like these. Don't do it. I mean, each of their own, I guess. But I, I definitely stick with the, um, like, yarn bowls 100%. Uh, f for my, my like, a... Food grade bowls and stuff like that, Mahoney's all the way. I love Mahoney's. That is Alexa just. Wood Turner says I also use wipe on poly. Wipe on poly? You're good with wipe on poly. In fact, before I started using Danish oil, that's what I used. Snack time. Oh, I know, right on, Raven. We just had us one. We just had us a snack time, but let's go. Grum's grandpa says I saw a lot of the cutting board makers were saying to retouch the food grade finish once a year. Actually, you know what? You could do it once a year, Grump, but it's kind of like your skin. If You know, you can feel your skin getting dry. If you 